morning, everyone. My name is Karthik Swami. I lead a team on search that's building Gen AI experiences. And I'm here to talk about a few exciting experiences that we are working towards. So overall, Gen AI is supercharging search. And what that means is we are trying to enable how people can ask questions more conversationally on one hand, and how well we organize the information on the other so that the information becomes more universally accessible and easier for people to understand. The thing that we are trying to get to is something we call search generative experiences, or SGE. And here, the idea is for, for people to be able to ask questions more naturally. So think about a query like, how can I train for marathon and be ready in six months' time? Here, there are different tokens, like there's a question about training. There's an event, marathon. There's a timeline, six months earlier one would have had to break this down into multiple queries, go, go through different websites, and put in information together. We can provide a comprehensive gist now on search through the SGE that we are pulling together. You have the ability to then ask follow-up questions more naturally so that you can tailor the response to your need. Let's go through an example here. So one of, one, of the, one of the things that I was reflecting on, I had not thought about it much before, but then if you think about why are popcorns associated with movies? Uh, in, in the non-SG experience, when I need to find this information, I actually need to click through multiple different websites to find that information. Now you can get a fairly comprehensive summary of, uh, of the response that covers multiple aspects of how this came to be. You can follow up, uh, you can follow with questions, talking about specific eras, how did it evolve over a period of time. Frankly, that amount of interest in popcorn is interesting in itself. Lastly, uh, and this is, this is something that I personally find quite helpful, you have corroboration links. So you can actually deep dive, and you can find more about that information. You can, you can A, ascertain where are we getting that information from, and second, you, the SG experience helps orient you, and then you can deep dive specifically on a particular website to learn more about the topic. Gen AI can help spark inspiration uh, to al and allow you to get even more done. Let's say you're looking for a specific image but can't find it. Or you have a concept in mind that you want to visualize. We have now introduced the ability to create images uh, on search itself. So you want to draw a picture of a Cap capybara wearing a chef's hat and cooking breakfast. SG will provide you up to four generated images and results. Now, why would you want that image? I leave that to you. Uh, these are early days. We are working hard in terms of improving this, so we, we can use all the feedback and information from people of their experience to, experiences to actually improve this uh, product together. This is something important that I also want to talk about very quickly, which is as we experiment these new capabilities, we are not going to get this right all the time. All of us know that there are known limitations of Gen AI, LLM, for a very loved universal product that search. We are trying to be very responsible and deliberate as we roll this out. So this is currently available via labs only to folks who opt in uh, so that it's not, so that we, we can learn as we go from here. The models are being trained with, with uh, such as high bar of quality and have layers of quality and checks uh, baked in. The work overall on day in, day out is guided by our AI principles that are published universally for folks to look at. And then on top of that, uh, we seek internal and external human feedback as a core part of the process to iterate on and build the product forward. Now, SG is an experiment within Search Labs. It's currently available in the US, in India, and in Japan. Uh, so yeah, uh, folks in the room here in the US can actually try it, give us feedback, and we'll improve. The whole concept is we build something, we roll it out to a few people, get input from them. Thanks so much. <laughs>